Hi guys, in this quick video we're going to learn how to reuse a Z-Sphere rig um, on a project, okay? So when you create Z-Sphere rigs, you simply go to Z-Plugin, Transpose Master, turn on Z-Sphere rig, and then click T-Pose Mesh. And then you'll be in the Z-Sphere mode where you can add your Z-Spheres on top of your model so that you can, you know, move it and everything. So what if you already have a rig? Well. I'm going to go ahead and load one I already have, right, that I want to reuse. So I have one. I'm going to drag it out, and then I'm going to go back into edit mode here. And you can see I have a rig set up for my character, okay? Now, the next step you want to do is you want to go to Transpose Master. You want to choose Store Transpose Master Rig. Just click that once, okay? The next step that you want to do is you want to load in your project without the rig, whatever your mesh is. So as you can see right here, uh, I have my mesh. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to go, you want to click, make sure Z-Sphere rig is on, click T-Pose Mesh like you normally would. Okay, and just give it a second to run through everything. It's going to take a, a few seconds because I have a lot of pieces in here. Okay. Now, your left, you see you have a Z-Sphere here. So now what you want to do is to get rid of the Z-Sphere, you just want to go here and choose Paste Your Rig because you stored your rig in memory before. And now what it's going to do, it's going to replace this rig with the rig that you have. Okay. And it's going to take a second, but now you can see it, it just added that rig in there. Okay. So if I turn on ghost mode, you can see the rigs in there. And then, of course, you just, after that, you just want to go down to rigging. Um, click bind mesh like you normally would. To test to make sure that it works and go to rotate, click on a point and click here maybe and try to drag up the arm and see if it's working. Okay. Now this rig is, is bound to this. This rig has some issues as you can see, but you know it's it's working. It's bound to this now. Which is pretty uh which is a good time saver. So you can reuse your rigs on other characters. To save a lot of time, in other words. Okay. Thanks. And uh, and of course, you know, once you're done, if you didn't know, once you're done, you know, posing your rig, um, you would just go and click. You would just do something like this, and then you would just click the uh, T pose mesh or T pose subtool, and that'll transfer everything. Your rig will be obsolete at that point, but you can always, you know, reload your rig and get different poses out of it and use it for different characters. If it follows the same kind of structure, you might have to make some adjustments, but it, you can definitely do it. All right, there we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.